Once every console generation, a game comes out that blows every other game out of the water. It sets the standard for how a video game should be made. On the 26th of October 2018, a game released that would push the boundaries of gaming unlike anything we've ever seen. Red Dead Redemption 2. This game has everything you could possibly want from an RPG. An insane story, a beautiful open world, a whole wildlife ecosystem, guns, gangs and even horse if you're into that type of thing. AAA games have been taking a bit of a hit recently. Ubisoft Skull and Bones filled harder than me trying to speak Japanese and let's not even get into the Suicide Squad game. It's safe to say AAA gaming has been slacking. More and more people are turning to indie games to fulfill their gaming needs. Big studios are focused on how much money they can make rather than the kinds of experiences they can provide for players. You can see this pattern with a bunch of games, FIFA, COD, NBA 2K and more. The list goes on and on. The thing is, AAA games have huge budgets, so developers are under an enormous amount of pressure to release games within a deadline and recoup the money that they've spent. This leads to studios releasing half-finished games that are filled with bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Cyberpunk. Rockstar does things differently. They focus on providing the best experience for their players and a built reputation for making quality games. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prime example of a game that pushes the boundaries of AAA gaming. It's one of the best games I've ever played. The AI is so advanced that it feels like you're in a real life simulation. The characters have so much depth to them and they react to things that you do and react to things that happen in the environment. Yo, shoot it. Shoot it. Right in the ass. Let's go, boys. Yo, I don't know what happened to this guy, man. Let's give him some whiskey. That's it. Give him a bit of whiskey. That should cure him, right? That's it. Oh, he's dead. Uh oh. Well, I guess we picked the wrong choice, boys. I recently played Assassin's Creed Mirage, and while the NPCs are great, they lack personality. They're all generic and blend in with the world. Whereas Red Dead Redemption 2 feels like each NPC has a unique story. Hey, there he is. Let's party, boy. During my time playing, I even saw an NPC get knocked out by a horse. Oh, he just got kicked up, bro. Damn. Yo, that horse just knocked him out, boys. Now, I'm not saying the NPCs are perfect, but this level of quality is what I expect from AAA games. I can only begin to imagine how insane the NPCs are going to be in GTA 6, but that's for another video. One of the most insane parts of this game is the environment. There's a whole wildlife ecosystem. A freaking ecosystem. There are so many animals up in this. It's insane, from crocodiles to horses to rabbits and even bears. This game is full of crazy animals. Plus, you can skin them to make pelts or even cook the animal meat. How much more realistic do you want it to get? They literally pay attention to every minute detail in this game. During a mission, I was robbing an oil cart and the cart got shot. For the rest of the mission, the cart was leaking oil. I know it might not sound too crazy, but when you add up all of these small details, it makes a huge difference and makes an amazing experience. Small things like if the clothes you're wearing are not warm enough during the winter, it affects your character. I mean, who the hell even thinks about stuff like this? I'm telling you guys, this game is different gravy. This game follows the story of Arthur Morgan, an outlaw who's a member of the Vandalin gang. The storytelling is amazing, each character has a unique personality, and it feels like a movie and a game combined into one. I mean, the gameplay speaks for itself. Look at that. They're both fighting, man. See that? They're chasing each other. Damn, look at that, bro. Ooh, nice, double-barreled shotgun. Take that. Oh, what? You can clean it. Yo, that's sick, dude. I didn't even know you could do that. You can clean your gun? That is some next-level stuff, bro. Oh, no. Run, run, dude. Run. No, the world's getting bigger and smaller, man. Oh no, they're coming. Oh no, we need to run, bro. Oh no, the train's coming, bro. The train's coming. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Oh no, the train's coming, bro. Oh my god, bro. Wow. This guy's crazy.
There are so many amazing things I can say about this game, but the video would be about 18 hours long if I covered all of them. This game is literally the pinnacle of AAA gaming. The attention to detail and the commitment to quality is why this game is one of the best games I've played up until now. Companies such as Ubisoft, Activision, EA, you need to take note. Start thinking about what you can take from your communities and start thinking about the amazing experiences that you can provide to them. If not, there are plenty of indie companies that make incredible games. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one here where I play Ubisoft's brand new free to play FPS game. Also, let me know in the comment section which game I should try out next. I'll shout you out in a video if I play it.